So the other factor that's going to dictate how well we can clean or how we're going to clean is going to be the water temperature. So if I'm dealing with delicate items, again, hand-painted figurines, not glazed, I'm 110 degrees Fahrenheit. When I get into electronic items or ele anything electrical, I'm going to bump it a little bit to 115. General contents, which is going to be the bulk of what we clean, will be at 120. If I'm doing plastics, I've got to be a little bit hotter, about 125. And the reason for that is plastic will open the pores up at 120 degrees. So I've got to get just past that threshold to open up the pores so I can get that odor out. But I don't want to go much above 125. So as an example, Legos have that little, they snap together. If I go above 130, what happens is the Lego will still snap together, but it doesn't have that little vacuum pop that when you pull the Lego apart, because you've, you've distorted that tolerance just a little bit. So this 125 is, is a number that we've determined on trial and error, basically having clean kids' toys and Legos. And then with tooling to remove rust, I've got to be up at 130. So you can see why the sequence of when I start a job cleaning, I really want to start with the lower temperature first and work my way up. Because I, it's easier for the to add the heat to the machine than to wait for the machine to cool down. Okay. So right now, frequency you can't control. I contr we control that at 40. But you can control the type of chemistry you're using, the power level, the ultrasonic power level, and the temperature. The other thing you can control is how long you leave an, I, a, 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 an item inside the ultrasonic process. So if we're, again, dealing with delicate items, figurines, crystal, uh, china with gold leaf, any of that, wicker baskets, 15 seconds is a maximum. Now, that doesn't mean you might not be able to run two cycles at 15 seconds, but after a 15-second cycle, we want to remove the, the, the basket of contents out and inspect to make sure that is the product clean or am I removing paint? If I'm removing paint, we don't, we don't process anymore. At that point, we will hand clean. Uh, delicate items that would be like jewelry, coins, porcelain figurines. So uh, we'd go a little longer. I'd go a 30-minute time cycle or 30-second time cycle. And then um, <clears throat> pottery, firearms, and some companies will do firearms, some will not. We'd, go, we'd run at a one-minute cycle. Electronics I'll run for a minute. General contents I'll run for at least a minute, maybe two minutes. Plastics, you'll notice, take three minutes. And the reason for that is plastic doesn't attenuate sound as well. It absorbs sound. So it just takes longer to clean. It needs more heat. Sometimes it needs more chemistry. And it just needs more time. So what you can start to see is why packing out by category is so important. So when I made the comment early, that the contents process starts at the scene of the loss. The reason is, is we want to pack up by category, mainly because when I go to process, we are going to be processing at different times and different temperatures. So if I have a box that has a mixture of hand-painted figurines that are glazed, hand-painted figurines that are not glazed, pour some, uh, some china, a wicker basket, and a toaster oven in one box, it's going to really slow down our processing because now the operators that you're, you're processing, your cleaning technicians, are going to have to stop. They're going to have to now dis dissect the box and have them run at different processes, different times, different, different, uh, different temperatures. So as much as you can get your crews to pack up by category, again, you're never going to hit 100%. But if the goal is 100% and you get into the 80s, that's going to save you a lot of time in the cleaning process, which is part of the beauty of, a, of, of ultrasonics is the speed of the process. Not only the thoroughness, but also the speed. So what will determine the cleaning is going to be, again, the frequency, the power, the chemistry, the temperature, and the cycle times will dictate how well we're able to restore contents.